Hello YouTube, thought we'd do another video. This video is going to be on the stock repeater. I wanted to do it right away. It's the same day. It's like an hour difference from the last video I just posted on my modified uh, 20 watt GMRS. Um, but I wanted to have a fair comparison. So this is the same day. Um, I'm going to show you here. Everything's all unhooked. It's the stock repeater on high power, and I'll show you the meter and the SWRs. There's no amplifier. Matter of fact, I'm going to use the same power supply, so everything is the same. It's the same antenna, same setup, just lower wattage. Um, and we're going to do a distance test and see if it, uh, you know, the 20 watts made a big difference or not. So let's go ahead and show you. This here, let me get the radio out here. I want to show you the wattage here and the SWRs. Hopefully, you can see that. Radio check one, two, three, four. Radio check one, two, three, four. So, as you can see. It's putting out about 6.29 watts at the same SWR 1.01. There's no other cables hooked up. I'm using the stock duplexer that's inside the uh, repeater. This is a stock repeater now. And the only thing difference is I got it plugged into the power supply. I want to keep it fair and uh, you know for comparison wise. I didn't want to use the power supply that came with that I want to keep everything equal so stock repeater so and again we're using the same uh, setup with the laptop and a handheld on low wattage I'll go outside and show you the antenna quick and then we can get started I'm gonna put you on pause okay it's still gonna be the same antenna setup 24 or 25 feet no difference there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the same distance test. So I'm going to put you on pause and I'll talk to you at the first location. Okay guys, this is a stock repeater on the same day that I did the 20 watt um, repeater test. Um, I'm using a same handheld. Um, I didn't want to make it all one video, so that's why I'm doing this in two separate videos. Otherwise, it gets to be too long. So let's go ahead and get started. This is location 1.8 miles away. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Sounds really good. And just for reference, the repeater is to my left this way from the car on the on the driver's side door is the direction of the repeater just to let you know that now we'll put you on pause and we will go to the next location okay guys I'm trying to park in the exact same spot this is location 2 this is 1.37 miles away. The repeater is behind me, um, just to let you know that. Stock repeater, same antenna, everything's the same. Same day, just a little, like an hour or so. I did the last uh, repeater test, it might have been like an over an hour now. So it's pretty much the same day. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. too bad we'll try one more time of course there's more traffic now radio check one two three four radio check one two three four eh, maybe a little scratchy I'm gonna put you on pause we're gonna go to the next location Okay, at the other location now, I'm trying to park in the same spot. Of course, someone's parked two stalls down, so I can't, but this is close enough. 
This is gonna be 1.5 miles away. The repeater is kind of uh, at an angle. I'm, I'm pointing the antenna where the repeater is at. So let's give it a try. Radio test, one, two, three, four, 1 1.5 miles away. doesn't sound too bad and then I also too before I forget I will post in the description the link to the other um, 20 watt distance test like I said I didn't want to make it all one video it would be way too long so we're breaking up in parts but I'll post the link in the description to that video so you can kind of compare yourself um, off to the next spot so I'm gonna put you on pause and we'll be right back Okay guys, this one is two miles. I'm trying to do it in exact order as the last video I just did with the 20 watt distance test. Like I said, I'll post that link in the description. I don't wanna make one long video, um, so that's why I'm breaking it up. But let's try it here. Now I know if, if I remember correctly, I had a hard time hitting the repeater from here. So let's see if it's the same way. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Ooh, did, I'm deaf, I'm, it might be a tad bit. Now the only difference is um, it's not raining right now. It's still cloudy out, an hour or so ago it was raining out. Um, but I think if I remember right, this spot I had a hard time. I could hit the repeater, but I couldn't make it play back. So let's try it one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Definitely staticky, you can make it out. I think it's a little bit better in that sense. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how can that be? Well, you gotta remember, there might be a little bit of um, descent in the sense of, with all the cables that I have to run to hook up the amplifier and the other duplexer. So by limiting those cables, the sensitivity of the receive might be slightly better. Um, so that's a possibility. Like I said, it's the exact same day. Only difference is an hour or two difference. Um, it's more, it's after noon now, or it's after 12 now. I think er, the other video I did was 10 or so in the morning. So it's only a couple hours difference. So let's try it one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit you know we can hear a little bit more easier let's go ahead and go to the next location and try that talk to you in a little bit okay guys we're at location I think this is four I'm losing track here I think at any rate this is a uh, 2.91 miles away the repeater is at an angle this way let's see if we can hit the repeater Stock, five watt, Redis RT97 repeater. It does about six watts if you want to be technical. Let's see what happens. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Wow, now I don't think I was even hitting the repeater. I don't remember now if I was even having the squelch break when I was out here. Let's try it one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Oh, that time I didn't hit the repeater. Oh. Wow, even though I didn't hear the squelch break, I still hit the repeater. Let's try it again. Radio check, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Two, 
definitely staticky, but you can make it out what it's saying. I don't think I even had that the last time I did that. <laughs> I'd have to look at the video again. I don't remember. Oh, that's what happens when you get old. Let me try one more time. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Radio check. Definitely, you know, getting through. Um, let's go to the last location and see what it does there. I'll put you on pause and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, at the uh, last location, this is in a different direction. Repeater's kind of at an angle here, point going this way, kind of the corner of the driver's side. That's where the, loca the location of the repeater is. Um, it's 2.12 2 miles away as the crow flies. Let's see how it does. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Wow, that's not bad. And I'm trying to remember if I had, oh, I can't remember. I'll have to, you'll have to check the other video, but I don't know if it came in that well or not And when I had the amplifier and all that hooked up. Let's try it one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Wow, that's that's sounding pretty good. I, I'm like I said, I'm 2.12 miles away, and as I said in the other video, I got trees and leaves, and my antenna is not really that high, 24, 25 feet. Um, you saw the antenna in the beginning of the video. I have trees around that antenna that are taller, full of leaves. So even getting this, and and again. Like I said before, my antenna setup is kind of down in a hole, kind of down in a valley, I guess. I don't know if I want to say valley, but it's down in a hole. Um, so to even get this with the stock repeater, or even with the other setup, with the 20 amp or the 20 watt re uh, repeater setup, that's uh, pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, we'll try it again one more time. Radio check one two three four four three two one two point one two miles away. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all for a stock stock repeater setup. Um, you're probably asking why is there a difference? Well there's a couple reasons why there could be a difference now you have to remember when I have the amplifier hooked up I am running cables and I'm using a different duplexer now I don't know um, how well that duplexer has been tuned so that could be a reason why it's not as sensitive maybe the tuning is just not quite perfect um, I'm going to try to use the nano VNA analyzer to check that in the next couple of, you know coming up hopefully soon um, I do not have a ten thousand dollar you know analyzer to hook up to it so I'm gonna try to do this the best I can but um, but that could be a definitely a, a good explanation why I may get a little better receive uh, with this stock setup compared to the 20 watt setup I don't know if the cables would make that much difference. They, they might have an effect, obviously, a little bit. So I guess what a guy you know could do if he really wanted to is if you were able to check the tune on that other duplexer with the cables you're going to be using hooked up to the analyzer and tune it accordingly or double check the tuning, that may help. Um, make it even uh, more sensitive uh, something that we're going to try to play with later but uh yeah so I, I you know it's it works the stock repeater works really well um you know i've, I've done a couple videos on this and uh 
um, like I said, I'm I'm pretty impressed on how this thing is working. I, I wish I could show you like an overview of, of what I'm going through. I mean, just look at the, you know, you can see the trees that I'm fighting against right there. I mean, it just, it's, and I'm sitting in the car. I'm not getting out of the car. So it's, it's doing really well. Let me do it one more time. Radio check, one, two, three, four. Radio check, one, two, three, four. So there you have it. Not bad. Um, I hope this kind of helps with these videos. Hope helps you guys kind of see what it can and can't do. Um, if like I said, this has all been done the same day. The last video I posted, my modified uh, 20 watt uh, Revis RT97 uh, video. There, I will post that link in the description so you can have a comparison. Done this exact same day. Um, the only little difference is it's not really raining right now as it was in the other video, but still cloudy day. So, um, but at any rate, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below and please subscribe. Thank you.